What's up guys? You all know I have this flounder gig and boat and you've seen my flounder gig in videos But I'm gonna show you something really cool how you can go flounder gigging on the cheap You can actually go and you can walk for flounder and I'm gonna show you how to put together a flounder gigging setup but first I think I'm going to show you the flounder gigging, then we'll meet back here and I'll show you how I built the light and equipment. Alright guys, just hit my first spot. It's a bit windy, probably not going to be able to gig right here, but uh, see how much I can get on film, see what we can get. Oh yeah, that's cool. Very cool. So I'm seeing a ton of mullet so far. Might have to come back and make a mullet video tomorrow. I've been wanting to make a fried mullet video, but I haven't seen any flounder yet. And I generally would not gig on this sandy bottom like this, but it's just the place I can access walking. I see my first flounder right now, and it is an absolute monster. Absolute monster. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Oh no. Oh no. I hesitated too long and he spooked. That was a huge, huge, huge flounder. Gah. I definitely do not have as much time as when I'm on my boat. God, that kills me. Okay, I see another one. I'm not going to waste any time on this one. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. See him, y'all? That's a good flounder. Look at that thing. I'm gonna go up here on shore with it. Smoked him, y'all. Darn it. That's a nice flounder. Come here, flounder. He's half as big as the first one, but that is a nice flounder, y'all. I'm super stoked. My first one walking. Let's keep it going. I'm going to put this on a stringer. There's a smaller fish right here. We're going to check him out for size. I don't think he's going to make it. Do you guys see him? I kind of have to put the light away. Watch this. There he goes. Where's your mama? Here's a blue crab. There's a print right here. You guys can see that print. And look at this blue crab right here. That's pretty cool. He doesn't have any claws. Show me where the flounder are, bro. I'm not seeing as much sign as I did a little bit ago. But I did just see one print, so let's see. I think I've got myself stuck between two sandbars. But then again, I was just going to tell you that the fish may not be here, but I see one right now. He's going to be 14, I think. Get my stuff ready here. Haha! <laughs> Look at that, folks. There's my fish right there. Get him on my stringer and keep going. So I knew I had got myself on the wrong side of a sandbar here. And I just kind of figured it out. Oh yeah, this is very, very fishy territory I just found. There's one right there. 
already. He looks a little short though. So, I'll show him to you guys. I knew I got myself into something. See that flounder right there? I hope you can. There he goes. He was probably really close. Really close right there, but uh, when you're gigging, you gotta guess. So you gotta go for the for sure's. Here's a gigantic print. I don't know, see it right there? That's where a flounder has been. Now I gotta find him. Where is he at? Wonder how shallow up here they're pushing. There's a good one right here. He's buried up real good, but not deep enough, because I just got him. Look at that big old biggin. Take him up here, put him on my stringer. Nice fish, very nice fish. I just seen a print too. That's three for the night. Already doing better. I'd set a goal of three when I left the house. So I'm pretty stoked right now. That's a big old biggin, as Blue Gabe would say. tell you guys what though I'm glad that I'm in shin deep water right now because I'm dragging a stringer of bloody fish in an area known to be frequented by very large sharks where's the next one this is probably the coolest thing I've done in a really long time and I'm definitely wondering why it took me so long to try it. All right, guys, I see another nice one. I'm gonna try to, ooh, I think I see two. Oh my God, the second one's huge. Holy cow. Oh, let me see if I can get both of these things. I don't know. It's not time to mess around. There is one with his head pointed towards me that's over 20 right here. And then there's one with its head pointing away. I'm gonna try to get both of them. Oh, I just doubled up y'all. I just doubled up. Let's go. I got two on there folks. You see that? Oh, I hope you can see that. Two in one go. Hold on, let me spin this thing around. Look at this, folks. Two flounder, one go. I'm gonna walk these things up very carefully to the shoreline. Yeah! This is epic. Epic. Crazy good. Holy cow, that was awesome. I hope the footage comes out for you guys. Two at one time, folks. Two at a time, that's how we do it. Both really nice fish too. Holy cow. Get these fish pulled off. A couple nice flatties right there. Very nice. Let's get them on the stringer. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. I got five fish. That's a recreational limit. And I do hold a restricted species license in the state of Florida and could keep going. But tonight, I want to go get in bed. And we're gonna, my family's going to eat these fish for dinner. This was absolutely awesome. 
we'll see you guys at the house that was pretty cool guys an absolute blast um i'll be honest i was not expecting it to be that much fun it was something i was gonna do and just kind of show you guys uh an economical way to get out there and gig some flounder um i'd never actually done it uh shoot i had i had five fish in probably 45 minutes here's the tools of my trade and after i get these fish cleaned up i am gonna show you guys how i put my light together and everything and what i did it's just a regular flounder gig cut down an led light head and that seven amp hour 12 volt battery uh, and a backpack of course and of course here's my fish my ice is almost melted so it's time to clean them up it's about noon the next day i had a doctor's appointment this morning so I took it kind of slow but uh i'm gonna put this camera over here and knock the sides off these things man it's hot out today but uh see what we got my little stringer of fish i kind of made this stringer out of some it's actually a limb line string and i put a little float at the end of it like that but it was kind of a a one-time use deal for last night um but you look at these fish man some nice fish right here it's a big one all quality size fish last night um not sure how i'm gonna cook them yet uh, maybe some piccata or something like that but so my there's my five and you guys have seen me do this but we're gonna clean them up and that's what five flounder fillet looked like. Now granted, that was a good average <coughs> on size. All those fish were well over. I had one that was right at 15. The rest were all 17, 18 inches. But that's a good pile of meat right there, folks. I will do the finish trimming inside because it's hot as tar out here. But now we're gonna throw it back I'm gonna show you guys how I built my light rig. If you don't wanna watch, fast forward through it and we'll do the cook. What I have here is, of course, a uh, flounder gig and light. These are LED. Um, I've got a couple just through all my gigging, um, I have a bunch of ex, uh, leftover lights. So I picked the best out of them, and what I'm gonna do is attach them to a pipe so that you can walk and you hold that pipe in the water, which you guys just watched me do. Almost like a, like a uh, metal detector. So what I'm gonna do is attach this pipe like so. And of course, I'm gonna glue this in a second. And then this flounder light will go on the end. It's gonna be powered by a 12 volt battery in a backpack. It's a 12 volt, seven amp hour Duracell battery. I borrowed this one from my buddy, but I'm gonna figure out what everything costs and probably put it in the description of this video. Um, so let's get to it. So here it is. This is the basic walking setup. You can uh, walk and look for your flounder. Probably have less than $200 into this. All right, so I got my flounder and I decided I'm gonna make some spinach and cheese stuffed flounder never made it before looked at some recipes i'm gonna try it out i've got 
some cream cheese. I'm gonna start with like almost a whole block there um, of cream cheese. And then I've got some feta. This happened to be garlic and herb feta. I figured, why not? Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan just since we're on the cheese kick, like that. And then mozzarella, maybe half a bag of mozzarella. Start with that. And I'm gonna kinda start mixing that around first. I did just wash my hands, just for somebody's thinking it right now. But then I got two bags of baby spinach. My hand, oh, oh no, I need help, babe. I need help. Here. All right, okay, <laughs> we're just getting in there. I should have started, I should have started, I should have been ready, it should have been cut open. It's I know fine. this by now. So, a whole bag of baby spinach. We're just gonna start mixing that all in there, like so. I've actually got a whole nother bag, but I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes as I mix. Give me like half. It's already rolling. Give me half. Half of it? Half a bag. Say when. When. And then, so like, like I said, I never made this, but it's actually coming together quite nice because as you mix it, it kind of tears that baby spinach around too. And I don't want it to be too cheesy. I want some spinach in there. You're cheesy. I'm a little cheesy sometimes. <laughs> Been accused of that. I'm still hungry. What do you think? How does that look? Or should I go more spinach? Delicious. No, that's perfect. So I've got a bunch of flounder fillets. I probably won't use all these today, so I, but I kind of laid out the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is just seasoning the first side of the flounder fillets with Olbe. Olbe. Olbe is good on any kind of seafood. I don't care. It's just good. So <clears throat> we will start Get us a little handful like a spinach ball of that spinach and i'm gonna kind of see how this goes right now i can't get a good angle hold on oh look there we go i'm gonna fold that up do you toothpick it or you just fold it on itself um well, i think i can just fold it on itself like that you don't wait did you put something in the bottom of the pan Olive oil. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Yeah, I didn't say it on camera. I figured, you know, if you know how to cook, you'll just know to do it. So, all right. Quit trying to photo palm my uh, <laughs> YouTube video. Where are you guys going? Where? Where? No, I don't know. Okay. Make good choices. So, Be a good person. There's another one. And we're just going to keep going. I need to ration this though too. How many are are you doing all of these? Like even these littler ones? Or? I just want to fill up this plate. Okay. Fair so. enough. I also don't want it to be like too stuffing. Stuffed, yeah. Because the idea is for it to melt inside the it mozzarella. It'll it'll all be melty and delicious. It's looking good. Maybe I should turn them the same way so all my I, think... I know it's bothering somebody out there. You better <laughs> turn those around. <laughs> So we ended up with however many that is. <laughs> Twelve. I don't know. I got my shoes off, but I can't count past the 20. But what we're going to do now is Old Bay on the top, right? And there's a lot there, so don't be scared to go pretty heavy with it. Plus, it'll give it a good color mm. when these bad boys are baked. I do love it. I like it. I don't care what anyone says. 
So I'm gonna go into a 400 degree oven with these bad boys, 15 to 20 minutes. I do have a convection bake oven. So my times might be a little bit shorter than your times, but approximate. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's time. Ooh, the moment of good. truth. It looks all boobily oh my gosh, it and delicious. So good. Oh, I have to add that I forgot and about three minutes in, I pulled it back out and I basted the top with butter. I forgot to do that before I put it in. I'm not perfect. I'm close, but I'm not perfect. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. I got the plates going over it's there. It's not too hot, it just came out. Do you, do, okay. Uh, we're making a YouTube video here. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're always making a YouTube video. Yeah. So, wow. Another great use for the ultimate spatula. It's so ultimate. It's very ultimate. I want like two smaller ones. You want two smaller ones? Good, because I want two big ones. Okay. Right, like that. Look at that gooey deliciousness. So and then you already know I'm going to watch out. I don't know what you're going to do. You don't. I never know what you're going to do. You're so unpredictable. Get you a little oh, spoonful yeah. of that deliciousness. I should have known that. Put that on top of your fish, that flavor right there, mm -hmm. and put it on Butter. top of your rice. And that's going to be delicious. Put on top of everything, actually. We got some roasted, uh, roasted, what do you call those things? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Oh my God. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh. All right. That one's mine. This one's yours. Okay. All right, guys. So we did some. Well, it's. It's fine. Go. Talk. Let's go. I'm hungry. I know. Well, you're the one. Like... You're the one holding us up. Just chill for a sec. All right, guys. So we did something different tonight with the spinach stuffed flounder. Uh, it's really good. I tried a little bite. Bianca's had hers. She likes lemon on hers. Mm -hmm. And we're all sitting down to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had the most fun filming this video of any that I've filmed in a really long time. I'll definitely be back out there flounder gigging on foot. But we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.